My name is Denise Mountainay, and I was pressured to abort my first child at the age of 16 by my mom. Like many young women, I ended up using abortion as a violent form of birth control. At the age of 26, I got pregnant again. My boyfriend went into a fit of rage when I told him I was pregnant. He demanded that I better get an abortion, and he never wanted to see me again. When I asked the doctor what was developed, he put a dot in the page and said it's just a clump of tissue. He totally lied to me. I was about nine weeks pregnant at the time. And years later, when I discovered the truth about fetal development, I learned that my babies had a beating heart by three weeks, that there was arms, legs, fingers, and toes by eight, nine weeks, and I was devastated. And I want to speak here on behalf of thousands of Canadian women like me who were told to go to the USA to abort our children because it could be done quicker. That abortion was done in a Buffalo, New York abortion mill. It was not a safe procedure either. I got an infection, damaged cervix, and badly scarred uterus. I was wide awake during that procedure in the Buffalo Clinic, screaming and begging the abortionist to stop it, stop it, but he didn't. It felt like I was being raped again. The pain was excruciating. It was very traumatic. After it was over, I curled up into a fetal position on the table, and I felt like my brain had snapped. I would never be the same. Soon I went into a deep depression, isolated from family and friends, and just wanted to die. I turned to more alcohol and drugs, looking for love in all the wrong places, result, resulting in a brutal third abortion in a hospital. At the age of 30, I asked God to forgive me for the sins of abortion, and he did. Jesus appeared to me when, with my three aborted children, Jennifer, Daniel, and Rebecca, about 24 years ago. I asked each one to forgive me, and each one did. They were so beautiful, and Jennifer looked a lot like me. Legal abortion hurt me and killed my children. I've been silent no more for the last 25 years because women need to know the truth about the damage and pain of legal abortion. Thank you for listening. Yay!